Okay, ladies, so I was in the mood for a little bit of color and I didn't want it to like over the top. I wanted it to be like mommy friendly. So like like my kids parties that are coming up with their friends and play dates and stuff. It's not too like in your face, but it's a little bit of, you know, like a pop of color, but brown girl friendly, but like perfect for summer, but just not too much. I wanted something that would be like when I'm waking up in the morning and I have no makeup on, I can pop this on and I don't feel like I have to put on makeup to make it pop. And I think that this one here is the perfect solution. This one did come courtesy of my first wig and they sent this over in a silky straight texture and I love the fact that even though it's like marketed as silky straight it gives a really good classy straight where it's not kinky but it's also not that like cheap high gloss it's definitely giving quality I went ahead and installed her for you guys and this was definitely a beginner friendly install you guys already know my first wig has us covered with cap construction and lace it came out absolutely beautiful very 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 beginner friendly and the lace is literally chef's kiss i didn't have to bleach the knots to the lace or anything like that so i'm going to go ahead and jump into the install be sure to check this one out i have a direct link in the description box look at that i have a direct link to her in the description box and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video okay ladies jumping right into it this is the wig straight out of the box showing you the 13 by 6 lace cap construction she's 160 percent density and she does come with this local stamped adjustable elastic band i'm going to proceed to cut off the excess lace at the back or nape of the wig and we're going to go ahead and throw her on this one fits absolutely beautiful it's a snug glueless fit so for that reason and that reason alone we are going to go glueless and you guys know i love when i can get a frontal that fits glueless here i am just showing you the texture of this one she's absolutely beautiful the origin of hair is indian and i'm gonna do a bust down middle part today it's 20 inches in length um there is a deep bleached deep and ultimate pre-plugged hairline and you'll see how gorgeous that comes out in just a moment or you may have even seen it in the intro and in the thumbnail i'm gonna just go ahead and cut off the excess lace around the ear and i'm showing off that beautiful pre-plugged hairline some other specs about this hair is that it's new air lace invisible and breathable quality human hair no shedding no tangling and long lifespan also this one is glueless as i mentioned pre-plucked as i mentioned and as you guys can see it's pre-bleached so this is one of those ones where you see people say hashtag no work needed literally you're just doing anything you're doing on this wig is just for your own like style and finesse but as far as actual like work you don't have to do any work with this wig and you guys can just see the proof is in the pudding here i am doing the dynamic duo and for me this just helps to stamp out the parting i like my hair and my wigs to look like a really 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 good silk press and this is how i get it with a little bit of wax and um the electric hot comb you obviously can be very light-handed with the wax stick especially when you're working with a good quality wig sometimes i will get heavier handed especially with like yakky or kinky hair or just really really heavily dense hair but with this one you only needed a light touch just so that you don't make the wig too oily or greasy and you guys can see how bone straight and beautiful it looks so we can go ahead and cut off the excess lace now pay attention to when i cut the lace what is left it literally fits flat and flush and it also matches and camouflages with my skin right off the bat so here i am just adding a glueless adhesive this is actually a um, super hold or extra hold hairspray so it's not a glue but it's sticky and tacky and when it dries it definitely will uh, melt the lace into your skin so as you guys can see because this one fits glueless i added that product to again melt the lace but i didn't need to like blow dry it or bond it down because again for the hundredth time this one fits glueless so i'm going to bring it home by going ahead and just adding a little edge control to my sideburns and making them marry with the wig so that it doesn't have like any line of demarcation i also didn't leave sideburn tabs just to make it an easy glueless fit but i did want to go ahead and add a little um to it so i did add these very 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 light and faint sideburns to um one on each side typically you would do these like kind of to match or meet where the arch of your eyebrow is and these i like because it kind of will give the no baby hair look because it's not too dense um, but it also gives me a little bit of a baby hair fix if that makes any sense 
Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and tint the lace. This is the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. I believe I'm using the second to darkest shade i do have or yeah i do have the darker or an even darker shade in my cart on amazon so i'm going to be purchasing that um the next time i check out of my you know thousand dollar wish list that i always have going and then i added the corresponding powder to the hairline now i'm going to go in and i added the heat protected to the hair and i'm going to just silk press it using the babyless pro flat iron and i'm just chasing a rat tail comb with that heat and that's really how you get a a really hard silk press you guys can see here one side is done on the left side and then on the right side it's not and you guys can see the big difference it makes when you silk out straight hair it just seems like you don't need to do it but it literally it makes the world of difference from looking like just an everyday joe schmo to really looking like you really are that girl so i'm happy i did that and it came out beautiful i love the length i love the texture i love the hairline and how flat this one is everything about it is super flawless this okay guys i'm stuck i'm sitting here watching my crime investigation shows and i forgot i forgot to show you guys that this one fits glueless so you guys see me use this spray to bond it down but you didn't see me blow dry it or melt it and you guys seen how beautifully it melts but i forgot to show you guys that even though i added that i added that product to essentially help it to melt but it doesn't need it it holds or lays down on its own this one is 100 percent glueless Again, I recommend melting it just for that extra effect, but it's glueless, baby. It's not going nowhere. <laughs> okay, now we can get back to the video. Okay, so we are done with the look. Look how beautiful and just sleek and just fancy this wig is. Now I'm feeling the sudden urge to kind of like dab off my lip gloss. I am wearing, not here, but I am wearing the um, plumping lip gloss from sephora the sephora blend um i think i'm wearing number two with like chestnut lip liner or no 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 charlotte tilbury pillow talk i think anyways i love this wig i love the fact that it's nice long and bone straight it was such a simple and easy install that i was feeling the urge to go in and curl it at least like bump the ends to give it a little bit of body but like that's the problem you feel like you need to do more than necessary when in reality this wig was made to be simple easy beginner friendly this one here has such quality and attention to detail it's like not cheaply done it's just not splotched together it's absolutely like just bougie and high quality it makes you feel like you're really doing something so with this one as most the time they do and sometimes i do fail to show you guys they usually will give me a um what do you call this like a breakdown what's the word travel size yeah a travel uh wig stand and then this is the packaging here you guys know the og my first wigs packaging is absolutely beautiful and then of course inside we did get some goodies this here is the dust bag as well as some brown wig caps i love how chocolatey these wig caps are so definitely gonna hold on to those and then also they have two packs of this conditioner and this is like a wig conditioner it works really, really, really good and it has a good smell to it. So it's called the Birdie Oil Wig Deep Conditioner Smooth Moist Soft for Wigs and Weaves. And I love it. I love how well this works to kind of help to like give your wigs new life. Also, they did give me the Flyaway Tamer. I have many, many, many jars of this and it's like a, um, not an edge control, but more like a wax stick. And then they also gave this little reusable pouch it has that black white pinstripe detail with the my first wig and then on this side it says my first wig as well and of course like i said this is reusable so you can add it to like you know add a little stuff in there and then of course they gave me an elastic not elastic band. what am i saying they gave me a rat tail comb as well as two dolphin clips now also with this one i did add the baby hair but i like the fact that i did it off to the side like usually it'll be a little bit more forward up but it gave me like what i wanted so that like if i really want to if i really want to like pull it back the hairline is absolutely flawless beautiful pre-plucked to perfection the lace melts gorgeously and then i still get like my fix for having my um baby hair that i love so much and you can just take super cute like on vacation and pull it back like so 
and I think that looks absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Be sure to check out my first wig. There is a direct link to this wig in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!